Where's Sam? It's a... Sam, where's Sam? It's a Wednesday, isn't it? God. From one night, I guess I need to wash my hair. Jesus Christ. Uh, what am I doing? Who am I? Um, uh, I don't know. Ah, fuck. Young bucks, second time. He's bigger than I remember. <laughs> you know, it's kind of going over there. Somehow, when he started to kill me, he was a lot bigger than I remember. <laughs> I mean, the, what, the, the crook of his arm. Oh my God. I, just, I couldn't fucking escape. God. And I was like, he's he like, I was, I was pleading for my arm. He's like, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, are oh, you sorry now, are you? I don't care. And, he's like, and he, like, he was doing it for the length of time it took the police to get there. And he didn't call them. Nobody called the police, right? And I was pleading for help. I was like, somebody, somebody. I was pleading and screaming for my life. <laughs> really? I was trying to see somebody close by, anyone. <sighs> I mean, it was incredible. But he had to be so in the crook of his arm. I, you know, I tried to flip backward, but, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. I tried to flip backward, but I just, you know, he had me so much, it would rip, it would yank my neck the wrong way. You know what I mean? I couldn't get out my neck out. There's no way. And he's just squeezing the air out just until I fucking, I mean, I was just, I was, uh, you know, like when it was happening, I didn't have, time to be afraid. I was like dying. I mean, it was like, you know, just, just I've never experienced anything like that. Just, oh, God. And I left a long incensed, incensed uh, message for the arresting officer. It was a woman. And then, uh, you know, and then I didn't get, like, so I called back because no one had called me soon enough. So the, the, the cop that was on duty, she wanted to not, I was saying, no, I want to talk to you. No, you're not going to, don't say a word. Don't contradict me. Don't change what I'm saying. Listen to me. I don't care if it's not your department. You'll take the message and you'll give it. That's what I said. So I said, and I just went on about what happened, how I was nearly killed and tortured, basically. And you can give that message and they can call me back. And that's what I demand. And they didn't call me back. But I wouldn't let her. I said, you will not contradict me. You will not tell me what I, you will listen and you will. Give him my message, even if that's not what you do. <laughs> I don't care, because you can do it. <laughs> but then by the time the, the guy called back, I said, you know, I really should just write this out so you 
space force so you can't contradict it. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, that's what they like to just, you know, you go, you know, I'm in terrible fucking pain. They'll say, well, did you go to the hospital? It's like, it's the fucking point. The hospital can't fix every fucking, the point is, I'm telling you what happened. Not for you to write it off with some kind of solution that doesn't address why I told you in the first place. It's like, don't, just you shut up and listen. Because they always get it wrong. And it's always with me in a place of suspicion. I'm like 60 fucking years old. Shut the fuck up. I don't care if you like it or not. You know, and I'm there. I was there for like a half an hour. I wanted water desperately. I asked, none of them would give me water. None of them. Not one. Even the ambulance. Like, and they were standing over me, the cop wall. The guy that had like, killed me was over in the corner where no one just talked, chatting on the, like, I'm, while I'm on the ground. No one would give me water for the whole fucking half hour. While they're investigating, you know, not asking anyone if they'd seen what happened about me. Just asking his friends in the shop. It's fucking ridiculous. I've had such bad experience. The cops, they're nice people, but it's just the way they're trained to operate. It's just, they don't, everything is just it's absurd. So I'm going to leave them a serious letter and make some videos so they fucking get it. It's like, what about you? If I were you, Miss Female Cop, and he had done what he did to me, and I told you, and you sort of wrote it off as like, it's a matter of opinion. You know, they don't even buy, I knew they fucking let him, but that's why I even called. I just knew it. Sure enough. I bet it's, I bet it's not even a fucking felony. I mean, I'm going to make sure they fucking lock him up for a long ass fucking time. But I'm going to make sure she knows, you better think about it as if I were you. And you denied me. Because that's what you're doing. And I don't care what you think. Right? Huh? How about that? I don't care if you're looking at my teeth. I'm telling you I'm 60 years old. And I'm not have you devalue my life and what it's worth for protection. How you perceive it. When you would give other people more protection. And don't contradict me as if you wouldn't. Because that's what you're, that's what you're trained to do. It's like insulting. It's like, and it, it's, there comes a time where you just shut up and respond to the needs of the citizen when they actually fucking need it. And drop the fucking attitude and serve. How old do I have to be? I'm going to embarrass the fucking cops when I fucking tie this all together. I'm going to embarrass them. <laughs>